hello everybody we are all ready to go it is a beautiful rainy day in washington state it's pouring i wanted to welcome you guys back to the channel with a happy new year and in this new year i'm going to try to bring you guys some more original thrifting content just bring this channel back to what it used to be is just thrifting so if you guys are new here hello my name is jackson i run a youtube instagram depop and i have my own website all titled loveless vintage i would appreciate it if you would subscribe and drop a like on the video and let's get into some thrifting all right everyone we're at the first store i think we're hitting like nine or ten thrift stores today so first store is a goodwill let's go inside Okay, wow, was not expecting that first store and we came out with seven things. Yeah, normally I come to this Goodwill and get maybe one or two things or nothing. So we got seven items. We spent 40 bucks, a little bit more than I'd like to spend on seven items. But I know a few of them are easy, like 20, $25 items. So I'm pretty confident in everything we got. We got that Harry Potter shirt, the Big Dogs Lord of the Rings shirt. I think the best thing we got was this the mountain it's actually year 2002 so technically 20 years old this the frog shirt because it is new with tags so this might be an ebay item i'm not sure what the mountain tees go for new with tags but i normally sell these for like 20 25 bucks this one's a huge print and new with tags so i could probably get more for it and yeah i'm pretty stoked on all the finds that ed hardy shirt honestly on depop that ed hardy shirt's probably like 30 40 plus dollars ed hardy does really well on depop this is like the softest shirt i've ever felt in my life this one i got this in the women's section it says are we having fun yet super soft tee it's a true vintage one pretty sure this is an 80s tag made in usa this guy was four bucks i think this is going to be easy 20 dollars. this shirt i have no idea this triceratops shogun i don't know but again size small on this vintage tag this is normally like a late 80s early 90s tag this was six bucks but I think on Depop, like $20 or something. So yeah, really good finds. Let's keep it going. Really quick, I also did pick up this shirt. Some of you guys are probably wondering, like, why would you pick this up? On Depop, you guys, this is probably at least 25, 30 bucks. It is an older one, probably like a Y2K one. People really love this style right now, the like all over print, kind of like tattoo, tribal style. So yeah, like I said, probably like 25 or 30 bucks on Depop for this one. I also forgot to mention that I'm trying to put some of this stuff on my website by the time this video drops. So make sure you guys check out the link in the description of the video for my website. And some of the stuff you guys see in the video should be on it by the time this video drops. So make sure you guys go check out my website. Follow me on Instagram. I post all these finds that I have daily on Instagram anytime I thrift. So make sure you guys go do that. But at the end of the video, make sure you guys stay around and watch the whole video. All right, next store. I got a bone to pick with this store. The store has moved twice in two years and every time they move, the prices go up. So let's see if we can find anything. I don't know who this dude is, but he looks like me. How is this an officially licensed Top Gun shirt? That's actually crazy that this is officially licensed. always check the women's section 
always. All right, another really solid stop. We got six items. We paid about 20 bucks. We got that Disney tea. This is an Eric Clapton hard rock tea. Okay, honestly, you guys, yes, I did buy the turtle tea. It's so weird, but every time I post one of these shirts, like as a joke, someone always wants to buy it. It was only three bucks. No matter how old I am, I still get excited every time I see turtles. Someone definitely just like made this. It's not vintage or anything, but like I said, if someone wants this, I would just sell to them so i grabbed it for three bucks because every time i post a shirt like this as a joke someone's like oh did you get that is it for sale so i just grabbed it this one's really cool really good one to look for i think it's b callahan or something like that i've had a few of these shirts before this one's probably like a later 90s one early 2000s but it still is made in usa and everything it was three bucks these shirts normally sell for like at least 25 or even more sometimes so that was a good pickup also just the harley t i mean it was five bucks these normally sell for like 20 bucks for me on depop so i picked it up my favorite find though in the women's section like i said we weren't doing that good until we got over to the women's section and then we found like four more things the simpsons and let's see i can't even see what the date is i think it's 2000 i think it's year 2000 but uh yeah simpsons and doesn't have any logo or anything but this is actually like raised print and i'm pretty sure it glows in the dark this one is size large on the pro weight delta tag it was three dollars and i don't know probably at least like 25 maybe 30 bucks on this one and it was in the women's section so yeah 20 bucks and i feel like this shirt alone is going to pay for everything so let's keep going all right next stop is this goodwill i have never found anything at this goodwill nothing never found anything but dollar trees next door so we're gonna get some snacks after bro like Six XL, would you cop for six bucks? Oh yeah, we're definitely buying this. Look at this beautiful cardigan, six bucks. Ooh. All right, you guys, it is a certified great thrift day. Like I said before I went in, I have never found anything at that thrift store and I came out with three things. So let me show you guys really quick. And I did stop in Dollar Tree and get some snacks. So let's go. All right, I did spend 20 bucks at this store and the first thing that I found actually wasn't this hat. It was this 6XL Daffy Duck tee. Now again, I got it because I put it on my story as kind of a joke and I know someone's gonna want it. So if I at least get like 20 bucks out of it, worth it to me, I think I paid $6. So I got that one. This was my second find. This is actually a year 2001, I think hello kitty bucket hat and yeah i saw these on depop from anywhere for like 25 to 30 bucks so i thought i'd pick it up i think it was like six dollars yeah it was six bucks and then you guys my favorite find though i am a sucker for cardigans i have a little collection of them now this one was six dollars look at the colors amazing super soft love the material if i don't keep this one i think i could easily get like probably 35 bucks for it so decided to scoop this one too we found something at every store multiple things at every store and i think we still have like five stores to go it's almost one o'clock so let's keep it going all right the next two stops are two small little local thrifts and i really think the reason why i'm finding so much stuff and that there's no one out here is because look at the rain it's been pouring all day so let's go in and get some stuff All right, two other light finds. Everything in there was 25% off. The ladies that run it are super nice and they always talk to me. So yeah, she was like, any clothing you find is 25% off today. So I got this vintage. This is a single stitch tee. Says it's great to be Swiss. Nothing major. If anything, I'll get 15, 20 bucks for it. But it was two bucks, 25% off of that. And then I actually got this Call of the Wild Alaska shirt. This is from the early 2000s XL. This one was three, but then it was 25% off. I sold a shirt just like this on my Depop for 20 bucks ship the other day. So I thought, why not? I think I after discount it was like four bucks for both of these so so far we got something at every store let's keep it going small little thrift <laughs> store on the side of the road let's go
All right, you guys, we did it yet again. It was not looking good. I was about to leave and I saw another rack of shirts like kind of tucked away and it was mostly women's clothes. And I go over and we have this 1999 Star Trek tee dated and licensed down there. This was eight bucks. They normally do charge a little bit more for shirts in there, but honestly, I don't know, minimum, this is probably like a 30, $40 shirt. So yeah, really cool and probably even more, honestly. So yeah, eight bucks for this. We have found something at every single store. So let's Let's keep going. I have never ever seen this thrift store before and I'm driving to a Goodwill and I just pull over and see it. So we're gonna see what they have. Very interesting. This building is absolutely nuts. There's no way this is all a thrift store. I think it's just this little building down here, but I'm on the way to this Goodwill in this area and I just saw a thrift store out of the corner of my eye and it said closed. So let's see if we can find some stuff. Okay, so as you guys saw, it's all like new clothing. And I asked the lady, cause she was like, is there anything you're like looking for? Cause she saw me like filming and stuff. And I was like, is this all new clothing? Like you don't have any secondhand stuff? And she's like, yeah, it's all from Costco. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. Like if it's a return store or something, but they had a ton of new stuff, no used clothing. So we will keep going. So I somehow missed the Goodwill that I was gonna go to. I didn't make the turn. So we're at the next store though, and I normally do really good in this store, so fingers crossed. We found something at every store, so we're gonna keep it up. And man, I'm just thinking about that last store. As you guys saw from those clips, there were all those mounds of clothes on tables and people digging, and like, I got so stoked. I thought I was gonna go in there and they're gonna be like open gay lords or like just a ton of random clothes just strewn all over these tables, and I was gonna get to dig through them. And I just love doing that so much. I love going to the bins, I love thrifting like that. And then to find that it was all new, Costco clothes that were all like returns or something. I got very upset. So anyways, let's go to this next thrift store. First find. Let's go. Second find, just a nice basic Rocky Mountain Park tee. It's a dollar. Nice one. Little Walking Dead tee for two bucks. Pulled this from the crew neck section before I came over to these other tees. $2.50 for this Sonic, Seattle Sonics hardwood repair. It has some marks and stuff, but it's gonna be like two bucks, so why not? Classic little Harley tee. Cream colored, vintage blank, Oneida, good tag, single stitch. I think it's like yellowish cream, but good color. Cute sloth tee by the mountain. Screen printed tag, but a dollar. Sell easily on Depop for like 20 plus. I don't know why, but I feel like I need this. It's super big and like slouchy, oversized. It's like pink and maroon. It's gonna be like four bucks, but I think I just want it for the personal. Seems really cozy. Found two big cozy sweaters in the women's section. They're both $3. This one's made in USA. Really nice like blue and green and then this one's striped. Really cool ones. Cute little vintage bunny and cat crew neck sweater. All right, we are winding down in the women's section. These are my last two finds. We have the morning sun-esque like embroidered Butterflies, three bucks. This will sell on Depop for like 25, 30 bucks. And then in the women's section, this is a blank made in USA Russell Athletics. It's gonna be six bucks, it's a size medium. I sold a large recently for I think like 50 bucks. So these blanks sell really well. So this is probably at least like 40 bucks or so. And that is it. All right, we're out of there with a huge bag. All right, we are done in there. That is probably one of my favorite local thrifts. All their stuff is super fairly priced. I don't think I've ever spent more than $10 on an item. And most of the shirts are like a dollar and they always have like at least 30% off everything you're buying. Sometimes it's 50. And then sometimes if you come back and shop with them again, it's like 75% off. Their deals are crazy. So we came out of there, we spent 26 bucks and I'm pretty sure I got like almost 20 items. And yeah, we're gonna keep it rolling. I think we're only gonna hit two more stores, a Goodwill and a Value Village. Hopefully we find some more good stuff at each store.
All right, we got one thing in there for 270. I did not want to ruin the streak. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this Blondie tee. It was half off today. It's from 2006. It's like a baby tee style. And I saw a similar one on Depop listed for like 80 bucks, which is like stupid. I'll probably just throw it up for like 20 or 25. But there were a few other things that I got clips of. There was that guest like rayon shirt and then that guest stripe shirt. If the guest stripe shirt was vintage, I would have totally bought it. But it wasn't. It was new age. Even though the colors are cool and everything, I feel like I I could maybe get 30 bucks i just don't want to spend ten dollars on it and then the other shirt was really cool but same thing i don't know probably like 25 30 bucks didn't want to spend ten dollars on it and then that mountain tee that i showed also it's just newer and i didn't want to spend four bucks on it to maybe make 15 i don't know so i just went with this i felt like it was the safest bet and i just didn't want to not get something so we have one more store to go to which is value village so let's go there now all right last store of the trip to the thrift I would grab this one, but it's dry rot. I already did a little dry rot test on it. And yeah, this one's dry rot. So cool tea though, probably like a $25, $30 shirt, but dry rot. Tie-dye Harley tea, seven bucks, but we'll pick it up. Nice Mariner's Essential, six bucks, pick it up. All right, I'm actually surprised this isn't more. 25 bucks, made in USA, Sherpa. I'll take that for sure. All right, you guys, we are ending out the day with probably my favorite find, this Levi's Sherpa. I honestly am kind of shocked they were only asking 26 bucks for it. I feel like they would ask like 50 plus on a Levi's Sherpa, but yeah, it's my size too, so I might end up keeping it. And also shout out my friend Tina. She saw me in the store and she gave me a coupon, so everything was 20% off, so I actually got this for around 20 bucks. And then I got all those other shirts that I showed you guys, the Mariner shirt, the Harley shirt, and then I got that like Mexico tourist tea. I think it's like an 80s one. I spent 40 bucks total. If I did decide to sell this one, I think the last time I looked these up, they go for like 60 to 100. I think it really depends, but this one's kind of like a darker acid wash one. Really sick. I'm really hyped on it. We had finds at every single store we went to. Very successful trip to the thrift day. If you guys like this type of content, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out and make sure that you guys subscribe. If you're not subscribed, follow my Instagram and my Depop. And like I said earlier in the video, check out my website. I should have some of this stuff on my website right now as the video is live. So make sure you go check out my website. The link is always in the description of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jackson with Loveless Vintage. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later.